Is the Samsung Galaxy A04s worth buying in 2023? Well, in this video, we're gonna find out. What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here, and this is the Samsung Galaxy A04s. Now at this point, this device really isn't that old. It was launched in late 2022, so it's still a very relevant phone. But since it was released, a variety of other budget Android devices have been launched, so I figured this video would be a good opportunity to kind of look back on the A04s to kind of reassess things to see where it currently stands. Now to see the most up-to-date pricing and availability for this device, as that does change as time goes on, definitely take a look at the various links in the video description. But before we get too far into things here with this phone, let's see what all comes included here in the box. So here's the box the phone does come in. You can see there's a picture of the device. And then right there, it does say Galaxy A04s. Now this is the factory unlocked model of the device. So if you do end up getting it through a carrier, the stuff that is included could be different, but essentially we have a packet here. And in that packet, we have some literature. So let me pull that out. So we have a quick start guide. And then further in the box, we have a SIM card removal tool. We have a USB-C cable for charging and data transfer. And then this is the international model of the phone. So the wall adapter included here is not a US wall adapter. So like I said, based on the model of the phone that you end up getting, what's included inside could definitely be very different. Now with this device, we have a very large 6.5 inch display. So we have a very large canvas here for going on social media, watching video content. All that stuff is gonna be really great here as everything will be nice and big. Now the display itself is an IPS LCD display and it does feature a 90 hertz refresh rate. So things do move a bit smoother here compared to a phone that has a slower 60 hertz refresh rate. So that is worth keeping in mind. Kind of gives the device a bit more of a premium feel, which is always appreciated. Now the display itself is 720p. Now despite it being 720p, things are decently crisp and clear here. And we also have somewhat decent viewing angles for a lower end phone. But keep in mind, compared to some of the more higher end premium counterparts, when you are outdoors, things aren't gonna look quite as bright or easy to see compared to those devices. But for a very low end phone like this one is, I feel like overall, we have a very nice display here. Now the PPI is 270. We have a 20 by nine aspect ratio. So a more narrow but taller form factor. And we have an 80.7% screen to body ratio. So pretty small bezels all throughout. However, we do have a slightly thicker bottom bezel, and then we do have a water drop notch up top here. Now in that notch is a five megapixel front facing camera, and definitely take a look at my full review video of this phone here in my channel to see a variety of different photo and video samples from all the various cameras. Now with this device, we are getting 64 gigabytes of internal storage, which I do feel like is very generous for a lower end phone like this one. And in addition to that, this phone does support micro SD card expansion, so if you do find yourself filling up that storage, you can always offload photos and videos, for example. Now, unfortunately, with the Galaxy A04s, there is no wireless charging, but this device does feature a fingerprint sensor on the power button. So let's give that a try right now. And as you can see, very fast and responsive. Let's try that one more time. So it works very good here. So that's very impressive, especially for a lower end phone. Now, in addition to having the fingerprint sensor, this device also has face unlock, so I do appreciate that we do have multiple methods here for accessing the device. Now on the back of the phone, we are getting a triple camera setup. So there's a 50 megapixel main camera, a two megapixel depth sensing camera for portrait mode, and a two megapixel macro camera for close up images. Now let me pull up the camera app here and show you kind of a preview of what all we're getting. But essentially, this is how things look with the main rear camera. Then from here, we can go over to the more tab to access the macro camera. So we can get very close up but have things be in really good detail. We can then head out of here and go over to portrait mode to get those nice blurred out backgrounds. And then we can flip around to the front facing camera and do the same thing. Now what's also really cool about the front facing camera on here is that you can adjust the blur effect, but also there is a group selfie option that crops out a little bit so that you're able to fit more people into one frame. Now with this phone, we're getting four gigabytes of RAM paired up with the Samsung Exynos 850 processor. Now I did run a benchmark test using Geekbench 5, and I'll show you the scores from that test right now. But essentially with this phone, I got a single core score of 169 and a multi-core score of 882. So what I recommend doing is running this test on your current phone and then compare your scores to these scores to get a better idea of how the Galaxy A04s compares to your current device. Because who knows, it is possible this phone could be slower than the phone that you currently have. So definitely keeping that in mind, this device is meant to kind of take care of the fundamentals when it comes to a smartphone. So phone calls, text messages, watching video content, social media, 
all of that will work very well here on the phone. But if you are looking to do more advanced things such as video editing, or maybe you are playing high performance games, or maybe you're on your phone constantly, who knows, maybe it's possible that you use your phone all the time for business, then I could definitely see where you might wanna go for something a bit higher end that has more processing power. But again, if you want a phone for kind of the bare minimum, but at the same time, a phone that still works, then at least this phone is very well capable of satisfying those needs. Now, one downside with this device is that there is no 5G compatibility. This phone is limited to just 4G LTE. So I certainly wish it did support 5G because that's pretty much the future. I mean, at this point, 4G LTE is still very relevant and it does work very well. You can certainly get by with just that. But at the same time, all the carriers are continuing to invest into their 5G networks and that's clearly the direction that things are heading. And if you're gonna go through all the time and effort of buying a brand new smartphone, I feel like you may as well get one that does support your carrier's latest and greatest network because why not? Now, from my personal experience, I have been in situations where I have friends that have phones that are limited at just 4G LTE, but they're on the same carrier as me. And in general, I pretty much always get better service than they do. So can you get by with just 4G LTE? Yes, but should you get a phone with 5G? I definitely think so. Now with this phone, video recording, unfortunately, does max out at just 1080p, so there is no 4K video recording. However, that is to be kind of expected with a lower end phone like this one, but if you do have a 4K TV, then unfortunately you can't view your videos on that TV in the maximum resolution that the TV is capable of showing them at. Now with this device, we do have a very large 5,000 milliamp hour internal battery, and then this phone does support up to 15 watt fast charging. So that is a very large battery, so just know that you'll be getting very good battery life here with the phone. You'll easily be able to get one day, if not multiple days of usage from it. Now, one downside with the Galaxy A04s is that there is no NFC. So if you do like to make mobile contactless payments using tap and pay, using services such as Samsung Pay or Google Pay, then unfortunately you cannot do that here. And that is a feature that I do tend to use quite a bit with any phone that I have that does support it. So I certainly wish this phone did have that. But now that I've gone over a variety of different specifications and features with the Samsung Galaxy A04s, Let's take a closer look at the hardware of the phone. Now this phone is made completely of plastic besides the display, which is glass. So that is a bit unfortunate in a sense because the phone is definitely more prone to getting scratched up as time goes on. So I certainly recommend pairing it up with some sort of case, but at the same time, as a budget device, you certainly shouldn't expect to get the best build materials out there. And I feel like given the affordability of this phone, they really did a decent job at not making it feel cheap. Now on the left side of the device, we have just the slot for the micro SD card and SIM card. Then on the right side, we have volume up, volume down, and then the power button, which doubles as the fingerprint sensor. Then up top here, we have the noise canceling microphone. And then on the bottom of the device, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, microphone, USB-C port for charging and data transfer, and the speaker. And then on the back of the phone, we have the triple camera setup, flash, Samsung logo, and that's pretty much it. So in general, this is a very straightforward device from Samsung, not too many different features here, but at the same time, you are at least getting all of the core fundamentals that you'd expect from an Android smartphone. Now, if you've used any Samsung phone in the last several years, then the general experience of using this device will be very familiar to you as they tend to kind of carry over the general skin and theme of their operating system with all the various phones. So that's certainly a good thing. And I do feel like if you have to go for a lower end device, this is one of the best options out there. And Samsung phones always tend to be very reliable as well as time goes on. They do put a lot of effort into their updates too, to make sure that you're getting software with the least amount of bugs, which is another great thing. So I would highly recommend going for the Galaxy A04s if you don't have too much money to spend. So I highly recommend going for the Galaxy A04s if you either don't have a lot of money to spend or if you're just not looking to spend a lot of money on a smartphone. But hopefully this video made things a bit easier for you. I hope you enjoyed it. But this is the Samsung Galaxy A04s in 2023. This is Kevin here, and I will see you in the next one. Take care and have a great rest of your day.